What's going on YouTube? It's What's the Hype back with another video. And in today's video, I thought I'd make an interesting video on how to style vintage clothing. Now I'm not gonna be showing how I wear my vintage pieces, but more I'm gonna be giving my recommendations on how to find pieces, build a wardrobe, a vintage wardrobe that you do enjoy, and look for unique items that pertain to you because that's what I think is so unique about wearing and buying vintage clothing. And it's what's fun about looking for vintage pieces. If you do enjoy, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more. Let's Let's get it. Now I'm by no means an expert on vintage clothing, but here are some of the channels that I watch to try and learn and find new things about vintage stuff. They know a lot more than me, but I'll be sharing what I've learned in my experience. Now, if you're just starting to build a vintage wardrobe or want to pick up a couple of vintage items, I think the biggest thing is find inspiration through maybe celebrities or other people you'd like to dress with, because that's how I got started looking at clothing. I think it's an easy way to kind of find your own sense of style is first looking at somebody else's and finding what you like about theirs. This idea about finding pieces that are similar to other pieces you like is something very unique about vintage and what I like about it because it is affordable. You can buy and experiment more and pick up pieces that are so unique and individual to you that no other people have, which is really cool about it. For the rest of the video, I thought it'd be cool to show items I like. Now, you might not have a similar style, but I'll give like tips and ideas about how I find pieces that I enjoy and how it can translate to you and you can make the same decisions. I mentioned affordability earlier in the video and I said that's what's great about vintage and really what I mean by that to explain it more, if there's like a piece you like that's coming out um, streetwear wise, menswear wise, whatever it is, there's probably a vintage like reference piece that's very similar to it that maybe they directly reference or is just similar to it and that's what's cool about it because you can find these similar pieces but they're not exactly the same and you're not going to be able to find a lot of them usually so it's individualistic to yourself. If you're just starting to try and add some vintage pieces to your wardrobe, I think t-shirts are the best way to start just because it's the most fun in my opinion. Looking for reference pieces, I'd go off of like your interests. I like movies, so I showed some movie tees, um, video games, whatever it is, sports, um, vintage track teams, vintage basketball teams are my favorite comics or graphic novels I like Tintin Tintin graphic tees are like some of my favorite vintage tees so whatever your interest is oh band tees as well I don't know how I missed that out but I see it now upcoming in the video but like music vintage music tees all of these things can be like good inspiration to find and look for pieces so if you're just starting building a vintage wardrobe, like I said, start with the vintage tees. And then the next step, I would say pick up a pair of vintage jeans, find whatever your favorite pair is, your favorite fit, then find a good pair of those, wear them until they're distressed. It'll look even better in your vintage styling. And once you have the basics of like a vintage hoodie, vintage tee, as well as jeans, then you can start looking for more standout pieces that maybe you can't wear every day, but now you can fit them in more often with your basic like vintage style because you have your essentials down and when it comes to footwear recommendations i would say any shoe that looks good beaten worn up or dirty i'd recommend converse truck 70s nike dunks vans uh, slip-ons old schools half cabs are my favorite models jordan ones whatever it is just find a shoe that looks good beat up or dirty that you can wear all the time Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully this helps you out, gives you some basic beginner tips. Like I said, I'm not an expert on vintage clothing, but I have begun to enjoy it more and more throughout the years and began to pick up more pieces. So I think I do know a little bit. If you do enjoy, drop a like and subscribe. I'll make similar videos. Let me know what you think down below. I'll see you next time. Peace.